Hello everybody and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I'm sorry to say that things are going to get very, very confusing in this video. Link has rescued his sister and he's managed to defeat the evil Helmerog King. If it was me, I would just give up and go home. There's nothing left for him to do here. Unfortunately, the plot of the game demands that he continue on and fight the evil Ganondorf. I say unfortunately, not because I think this is a bad thing, but just because it's a confusing cutscene. As you'll see right here, it is just really, really confusing. It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf. I've put on a couple of pounds since Ocarina of Time. But I still have enough power to defeat you. Uh -huh. By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by chance notice how all the monsters frozen in time began to stir again? <gasps> do you understand what that means? I highly doubt you do. So here's the explanation. The sword was a magical stopper. Yeah, it kept the seal on Ganondorf intact. It kept Ganondorf and all of the monsters frozen in time. And this is obviously not the case because Ganondorf and the monsters were free long before Link got the sword, so... What? <laughs> and this is where Cartoon Link is basically the worst hero ever. You cannot defeat me with a sword that's hundreds of years old! Come on, didn't you even think about that? The sword is old and rusty! What made you think that would be a good weapon? I have to say, Ganondorf does have a point. And it's Tetra! Tetra shows up from out of nowhere to save Link! Link! Get up! Get up, Link! I know you were dealt a really, really heavy blow. A dangerous blow. That attack would have killed a normal man. I understand that you would be extremely injured at this point, Link. But you have to get up. Stop struggling, Link. You need to get up! That attack was powerful, but you can't just lie on the ground forever, Link! Get up! Okay, never mind. Link's not getting up. That was one heck of a slap. There is no way he's getting back up after that. You pathetic little sea rat! Uh? Huh? Uh? My Triforce of Power is resonating! <laughs> At long last I have found you, Princess Zelda! Wh what? What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda! Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing! Tell me, if you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? And 
guess what? Our heroes are saved by the bird people. And what I would say is something they should have done from the very beginning of the game. They decide to use the giant fire-breathing dragon. Yeah, really should have used the giant fire-breathing dragon a little bit earlier there, guys. Really should have thought about that one sooner. In any case, this is cool. Uh, the mailman makes a return. Everybody loves the mailman. And Captain Whiny Pants makes a return. Captain Whiny Pants now has his feathers. It's all right, Link. I am the mailman. I am a licensed medical professional, and I can tell that she is merely unconscious. the cool part of the cutscene. Um, now for things to get super confusing again. Link, I'll explain things. Seriously, King of Red Lions? That's what you said last time. Last time he said he would explain things later, and then it was later and he didn't explain anything. I swear, either he is allergic to telling Link information, or his real name is the King of Red Lying. And what is this place? Yeah. What happened to Ganondorf? I don't know. Hey. Link, what are you doing? You must come to the room where you got the Master Sword. is a minor mystery. Somebody is using the stone, but we don't know who it is. It should be really obvious who that person is, by the way. There's only one other person besides Tetra who has used the stone. So here we go. Down the stairs to where the Master Sword was. To be honest, I have no idea what he's talking about either, but that's not important. The important thing is that we have a brand new character. King Large Collar. 
King Largecaller <laughs> is the king of Hyrule. And he is also the king of Red Lions. Don't ask him how he can turn himself into a magical talking boat, because he's not going to explain. Yeah, seriously, how can he turn into a boat? And how has he been living for hundreds of years in the magical kingdom under the sea? Why doesn't this backstory at all match up with what happened in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? Yeah, this is weird. Anyway, the story is that the gods decided to save Hyrule by flooding it. So this is the question I had earlier. He said, as long as Ganondorf isn't revived, the kingdom's okay. How was Ganondorf revived? Who revived Ganondorf? Isn't this something we should be looking into? And this is Tetra's necklace. The necklace which hasn't been seen before this video. And this is a very unflattering view of the king's face, I have to say. A very unflattering view. Right, so the necklace is a family heirloom. It is secretly the Triforce of Wisdom. And the fact that Tetra has it means something very, very important. It means she is the last remaining descendant of the royal family. She is like the great, 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 great granddaughter of the king. Which means he can unlock a secret transformation. That's right, he's going to turn her into a magical talking boat. No, 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 wait, he's gonna turn her into something else. That's right, everybody. The king forcibly changes Tetra's body, hairdo, and personality to turn her into Princess Zelda. This is kind of upsetting to me. I kind of like Tetra. Sure, she has a winking problem, but she's pretty cool. I kind of like Tetra as a cool pirate. But now she's just Princess Zelda, you know? Tetra's gone. She's Zetra, or Princess Teldra. I don't know what to call her. But yeah, Zelda doesn't really act anything like Tetra. She doesn't look much like Tetra either. Okay, gotta be honest here, King. Your ancient kingdom under the sea is kind of lame. There's not much to your kingdom underneath the sea besides this castle, right? There are no subjects. Nobody lives here besides for you. It, uh, at this point, I would say just give up and move on. Zelda. Wait, what? Seriously? How is it too dangerous? She's a pirate queen. Oh wait, never mind. That that was Tetra. This is Zelda. Huh? 
And this is just like the icing on the cake of weirdness. The King of Red Lions has the power to teleport. Yeah, he can disappear from one place and reappear in another place. You know, that's an ability which really could have come in handy, I don't know, everywhere in the game? Seriously, why doesn't the king teach Link how to teleport? That would be super useful. No, no it's not your fault, Princess Zelda. What would make you say that? Wow, this scene is really familiar to me for some reason. What is with Princess Zelda's in apologizing for things that aren't their fault? Ah, whatever, no problem, Zelda! You just have fun hiding here... ...in this room... For the rest of the game, we're not really gonna see you again. Bye.